Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you've been into prepping for any amount of time, you're going to remember back when everybody wanted to have an Altoids kit. This was your emergency kit. This was your survival. These tiny little boxes and everybody used to try to make every single thing that they thought they needed to live fit into one of these little boxes. This was your EDC, your everyday carry. The emergency supplies that you thought you would need no matter what the day brings. Then the pandemic happened. This became your survival gear. These were important to have, and so was this. Times changed dramatically, and then people stopped going anywhere. They had to stay home, or they were afraid to go out, or they had to work from home, and life just changed dramatically. Now that the world has become the new kind of a normal, and people are actually going out again and doing more things, you may want to revisit your idea of what are the emergency supplies that you need. That doesn't mean you need to go back and find a little box that this is what you need. What you need to do is actually lay out the supplies that you want and then find a container that holds the supplies that you choose. The Altoids kit is a great little idea, but it maybe doesn't hold all the things we need today. So what you want to do, rather than find the things to fit into the container, you want to find the things you need and then choose a container that will hold the items that you want. We don't necessarily have to have the tiniest, we just need to have the things that we actually require so that our day can go as smoothly as possible. The whole idea of putting the kit together is so that you have your safety, security, and your comfort, and the things that you need may not fit in that format anymore. For your micro mini survival kit, think about all the different kind of tools. You don't need all of them. You need to find something that's useful to you and those should be included in your emergency kit. Think about your medical needs. Do you need to have medicine with you, band-aids, eye drops? Some items are also multiple purpose because you can use the cotton ball with some chapstick or an alcohol wipe to start a fire if you needed to. Maybe you want to make sure that your breath is fresh and your teeth are cared for. Put in a little travel toothbrush if you want. Maybe you want snacks, gum, or even a few of the actual Altoids. Get a little flashlight, a sewing kit, dental floss, which also works great for a little bit of cord or string. It's very sturdy and strong. Aqua tabs, you can purify water. An item that I continue to buy and I like to add into my emergency kits are the four-way Silcock key. It's a plumber's device that it allows you to open up faucets if you are in an urban setting. You can find a faucet on nearly every building, but the little handle that we're used to at home is not there. And with a Silcock key, you can turn on a faucet and access running water if you needed to. Just make sure if you ever turn water on that then you turn it off. Maybe you want a bandana, an emergency blanket, an extra dog leash. Put in the items that are most useful to you. More and more places are requiring these again, so you may want to have some extras in your emergency kit. Look around at all of the little things that you want, put them together, then choose a container that will fit the items that you want, and then figure out how you can bring it with you so that you have what you need, no matter what the day brings. Everyone's kit's going to be a little unique because everyone has different wants, desires, and things that they absolutely feel that they need. And those are the items that belong in your kit, the items that are useful to you. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.